Welcome, folks. No, that's not right. Howdy, folks. <laughs> Welcome to a new day in the front. Ah, we've got hair in my mouth. It's there. Right as there. Yeah. So, <laughs> um, just as I start that, I don't know where the fuck that came from. Anyway, welcome to a new day on the front. The sun is rising on a beautiful, beautiful vista. Uh, as you may have noticed, I finished this off. I've made it a bit bigger um, and I've walled everything. I need to put, um, I love the sun on that, that's beautiful. I need to put a new beacon down here and then start working on like how we're we gonna do a trap base here. I might just put one down so I can start getting some resources out of it. Um, I've also made these two by two on each side and I've started that, which I'm not 100% sure on yet. I'll be honest with you. There's some bits of it that look a bit janky and I'll need to tidy them up. Um, but it's getting, it. if I show you, I mean, it at least goes up to the top now, which is great. Um, which is, and to be fair, it was a bit of a, a, a thing to try and get that done. I, I, I'm surprised it worked out. I don't like that wall. I need to finish off that bit. Um, but yes, so I've done, there we go, catch up game. Well done. Good job, you. It's a bit, I mean, it, it works and it's not ugly on the inside. It does work. I do need a quicker way of getting down because um, aside other than jumping I haven't really got one <laughs> um, but so far this is the view it's kind of pretty it's kind of lovely we got like the whole view of the whole base which is great we've got like the tower started over there it's turned into a big block um, we've got the main base area there with all our supplies I put a lot more water down um, I haven't quite got onto the pumping of the water from the the thing yet, which is a thing you can do. There's a whole electrical generation system and stuff like that that I need to get into because a lot of the trap stuff requires power to really get onto the better stages. But um, I was soon to sort out that as well because it's kind of annoying. Um, the wall I haven't really done yet and the guard house thing armory, I'm not really sure what it is. Um, it started, um, but I haven't really put a, a roof on it yet or anything like that. I've, I've done the, I've done the bones. Um, but yeah, this, this was a kind of giant pain in the ass to do. And like, I, if you want a guide on how to do this, the best bet really is like uh, behind every one of these wall sections, like not just to kind of look aesthetic wise, there are a shed load of pillars. Like you'll be able to see it. Maybe, no, I walled them off as well. Like that is a bad one that I placed by accident. And it's just hanging there. And I might tighten it up. I might put it down to something else. But behind everything, and this is pillars. But this one. Like, don't. When you're doing this, the best thing I would say is don't get disheartened. Like, when you're. Because I had a few bits up here where I was like, I built a cross. And then it was like, no, we got no structural support. That's as far as you can go. Now, that's where this one comes in, right? I, I could build out a little bit and then build some supports up. And then that worked. So don't get disheartened when you're building a height in the front. There are ways to make it work. Like, look, there's just tons of pillars in there. That's all it is. And they're, they're your best friend, basically. And the same with down there. It's like there's a lot of pillars in between those. Um, the ground one, it's like, a, it's like a base foundation point. And I need to tidy up the sides of this one, And to, to be fair. Um, I need to tidy this up sides of that one over there but it's turned out all right i want to put some lights and stuff on it and i think that will kind of detract from quite as much of the stone but it's turned out all right um it's not quite what i want and i to be fair i need to get onto like different building methods and like i said lighting and stuff like that i need to get into um but first things first today then so i do have i have a new helicopter um i've got as you can see a load of ammo and i have a new gun it's called the cupid it's a new rifle um, with my scope, with my ammo, with my mags and stuff like that. How much ammo can you hold? Oh, you're a pesky 20. Um, that's because today we're, we're not doing any building. We're going out on an adventure. I want to find that guy in the swamp. Um, close the base. Steel doors. I found some steel doors. I didn't make them, um, which is why I'm taking the tank. Um, so we're going to put some more fuel in the tank that's why i've got a thousand fuel um, i'm also not going to put all of this in i want to put like 200 as a tester and i'll put like 30 as a tester for that so we're going to do bang 
and we're going to do bang. And I'm going to hope to God this time it freaking works and doesn't just eat my arrow. And it seems to be working just fine. There's a lot of reloading sounds going on. But I guess that's definitely a good thing. Cool. I heard that clunk. That means that there's a rocket in there. Or a large AP ammo, anyway. Um, yeah, I'm taking the tank. I haven't built the other tank yet. I will get around to doing that. But I just, I wanted to have a bit of an adventure today. I wanted to go out, see some sights, see what happens. I don't know if eagles attack tanks. But obviously they have armor-piercing claws, so maybe. Um, I'm hoping. Do wolves attack or they run away? They run away. Bye, Wolfie. Oh, I just sent him flying. Oh, poor Wolfie. Um, I haven't shown you guys the gun on this thing yet. And it is pretty dope. It is pretty kick-ass. How many did I make? I made 30, didn't I? I put 30 in? 20 in? Why is there only 15 in the inventory? Why, why is that? I'm not switching off the gun because I'm scared of what it will do. I also, however, do need to get used to using um, the helicopter because the ground clipping thing is really freaking annoying at this point. I don't know why it does it. I, I, don't, I know it's not just the tank. The tank deals with it honestly the best out of all the ground vehicles that I've, I've been using. But it is flipping annoying. It is one of the bigger bugbears I have with this game. Um, is the ground. But we've got tons of fuel this time. Look at how far that bar is up. Um, I didn't repair it, unfortunately, because I'm an idiot. Um, but it's okay. I mean, I think it's going to be all right. Uh, I don't know where. There's a base over there. I think that's where i got to go. It is where i got to go. Um, should I just go back to the road? Would you turn, please? I say it deals with it the best. See? It's fun, isn't it? It's lovely. However, I'm like so about the amount of ammo that used. Get off the thing and unzoom. And zoom. Please? Yeah, so it says it only used one. Please, why are you being crap? I really, come on now. I, I spent all the time making the ammo. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm not taking it there. Man, I want to use it, I really do, but if it's going to be a giant dickhead about thing, and it's just swallowed the ammo. It just swallowed that ammo. Did it, or is it loaded? Uh-oh. Uh. No, it, it swallowed it. Yeah. It just outright swap. That is bollocks, man. That is absolutely trash. Right. We're going to do this instead. Give me that. No, you can keep the 378. I'm taking my freaking helicopter. Um, right. There you go. Okay. Now this time. This time, hopefully less crashing. Less. I'm not guaranteeing none, but I'm, I'm saying less. Um. I want to just get up and away and get out of this bloody place. I want a means of going back and forth. Yeah, see, without the missile pod, there's nothing there. It's kind of cool. Um, right. Vehicle. Chuck that in there. Vehicle gas can. I'm not putting anything in there. There's no bloody point. We're in. Right. Turn the rotor on. Let that blaze get whirring. And then let's get some let's get some height before I start messing around. There. That's lovely, isn't it? 
Okay, so we have base over there. And then where I want to go is over here. I swear to God, if you—I mean, you're not clipping. I know that it's the game being kind of slow, which is fine. I can deal with that. That's not a. I do this then. There's a percentage dial on that on the left-hand side. I'm trying to. Trying to figure out. If I do that and just W. Will it cancel it out? Or is the ground getting closer? I feel like the speed... I can't tell if the speed is going up or not because the game is so freaking laggy. I don't think it's me because like, it seems to be recording me just fine. Normally when it's, the, when it's my computer being crap, like there'll be a lot of lagginess on the, on the camera's end. It doesn't seem to be. So I don't know what it is. But there is a swamp over there. And I found a guy who's in a random shack that you can talk to. I feel like this is going to take me forever to get to. So anyway, while this is doing that, I mean, we can we can chat. So hi, how's it going? Um, I hope you guys have been enjoying this. I I don't know if you like the format now. Like you know, we do a series a week, and then we do a different series for a week, and maybe come back to it and stuff like that. But obviously, this is the first proper week that I've been kind of able to do it. And like next week, it'll probably be I think God of War. We take a little bit of a, a break from the survival for a little while, for well, for a week I say. Um, and also kind of because Black it's Black Friday next week. Um, and right now I'm kind of, I'm, I'm running on like a, a day ahead. This is so slow. I mean, we're getting over the mountain, which is nice. I probably saved the time, but like, Jesus Christ, this is slow. Um, I also am not hunting. I mean, if W is up, then S is surely down. Um, and yeah, it's Black Friday next week. So I, I'm kind of a little bit hectic. Um, I've got a couple of days off by kind of doing full days on Sunday. So it's going to be kind of a little bit painful. Um, to me, to one make things a little bit easier so I can kind of try and catch up uh, in time for Christmas. Um, we do go to war next week because uh, I can record that much easier than I can record this. Like recording these takes like I don't know, like time of I've been playing so like kind of like about two hours of prep and then the actual recording um, because it's like you know I have to do a build or I have to do a thing or I have to do this that and the other or make a helicopter. <laughs> Um, but God of War obviously it's a lot less it's just you know the game which is kind of easier um, unless I'm obviously being crap <laughs> um, but one of the nice things that I've been kind of working on a lot lately other than aside from recording is um, the podcast so I, I do keep mentioning it and I, I'm enjoying talking about it I've been talking about it with um, Gary who's going to be in it and um, I'm still looking for um, at least one person maybe more I'm not 100% sure set on um, how many people are going to be in it, but I, I've said some bits and stuff to Gary of what I'm planning on doing, and like, it kind of made a good point that I'm doing a lot for it. This is like going to be my first kind of D and D game, and I, I I've, I've always liked games with you know that like Fable kind of esque in terms of quality, in terms of consequence, like um, and size, the scope, and whatever of a, of a game. And it's what I've kind of done with the the D and D game I've been writing. It's it's on a pretty freaking ridiculous scale, in all honesty. And it might be a tad over ambitious for my first game. But it's the stuff that I'm writing right now is is kind of like hard world building. So like you know, the, it, not just you know, uh, a setting to kind of put a, a little story in or whatever. But it's a whole thing. Like I created this. Um, I created this political system that the the team the party can kind of take you know, be part of if they want to a whole reputation system and scoring system and I've, I've kind of to the extent of like if the podcast did take off and whatever I, I've got mechanics and stuff written up um, so that other DMs and whatever could run it if they wanted to which would be kind of cool and the nice thing with this game is like it's more creating a world and, and um, uh, escape 
for stories to take place in, I suppose. Like, the nice thing with this is, like, anything can happen. And that's, the, that's always the thing I've, always, I've left with D&D so far, is that anything can happen in the story. And the nice thing that I, I've got to try and drive home with um, as for the people who are going to play this is it, that that's on a much... I don't want to say grander or anything. Because this feels just... It feels like I'm just trying to be behaving and see it. Um, this is so slow. Okay, now you do it. Oh, now you don't. Okay. I should have said it was slower earlier. Are you fucking serious? Just pick one. If it either work or don't work. I don't really care which, but pick one. Okay, I think it's working. Um, and like trying to to drill home to uh, to people, um, exactly the the level of consequence that they're gonna have to be aware of <laughs> is gonna be interesting. Like, um, I, I'm trying to at the moment decide on on like how much I want to kind of say to people, like giving them examples or just letting them kind of find out as things go on. Um, so I don't want to that to like prejudice them and like their actions and stuff. But, like you know, they, if they wanted to, they become they could become a king, a queen, um, lord of the realm, a commander of a military force, uh, allies, enemies. Um, like because the main, I guess the main part of the game is like um, it's all it's kind of written like most D D things have a theme of some kind, and this one. It's not really got, it's not an exception to that maybe. It's like written uh, with some kind of like linking to like how you write a story or um, or how you, seriously, it's gonna take forever to get down. I thought you were going fine. Come on, dude. Um, and like, I, I, I'm, I'm just looking forward to doing it. Like, I've been writing for freaking ages now. I've created some lovely characters and lovely places and some crazy kind of deals and stuff like that. And I think I can make up quite a lot of it in my head as, as we go along, which is it's kind of fun. Um, but there's quite a lot of aspects of it that I'm, I've been writing up for it. More so on like a rule aspect, I suppose. Uh, and bits and pieces for you guys to join in. So for example, like, um, I won't say when in case like one of them watches this video, but there's and to be fair, these happen. These will happen quite a lot. Like, <clears throat> so, there's an element of, uh, like I said, politics in the game. Um, where um, there might be uh, leadership changes in a village or a town or a city or, or something like that. And the nice thing with the, with, the, with the place I'm creating is, like, there is kind of a bit of everything. There's, like, it's six different continents. So, there's room to kind of have um, more primal people, there's room to have more um, advanced people, um, bigger cities, smaller cities, everything in between. Um, so, you know, if, if someone wants to be, you know, the leader of a little village, um, they could make that happen, potentially. Like, if there was you know, there's a storyline or a press line that I'd write into it at a later date or something. Because the nice thing with this is that, compared, again, I don't know. I'm comparing it, and I've really not got a lot of experience with D&D, but um, compared to a lot of campaigns that I've looked at, uh, this one takes place over like a seven, eight year time period. Um, and it can be longer than that, depends on like the choices that the, the players make. So. Um, but it tends to be something that seems like uh, it's missing a little bit. Well, not missing, but like um, there's not a longer time period, so you don't see a lot like... Uh, further example of like how consequences of, of choices like pan out on a, on a wider scale um, which is what I try I'm trying to do with this in a, in a bigger way because, like same like I said with Fable this is really can I just jump out now still I feel like I'm still pretty high I'm not flying back, that's for sure. I'm just going to run back. Like, the helicopter's a nice idea, but if it runs like this, I, it's just... It's just crap. 
Because it can do it. Um, so yeah, so there's like uh, there's a little bit of a storyline where depending on like what hat they, the choices they make on some things, um, the the leader of a town might um, not be the same leader after a few more months, um, or instantly, or, or whatever. I mean, there's a lot. I said there'll be a few of those situations that pop up. Um, so if they wanted to, like you know, one of them could be the new leader, the new mayor, or they could run for it anyway. Um, and I was thinking, like, it might be fun to have, depending on how you know crazy these um, this podcast goes, which I'm hoping. Like, there's a little part of me that's like, I, I, I listen to a lot of D and D podcasts, um, and like quite a few of them end up like at request that convention and stuff like that. And there's a bit little part of me that's like, maybe that could happen. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so like, um, I was thinking it might be fun if you guys were like the public, like, casting your votes on who's you know who wins in the election or who you want in the election or. And sometimes, it, like, if the party doesn't want to be a mayor of a place, or whatever, because obviously you, know, you don't be able to be one, um, if they don't want to be a mayor of that place, they might just be asked, like, a, in an interview with the news and, like, uh, who they're supporting. Um, and I thought you, maybe you guys could, you know, vote on a few people who are put forward. Um, like, they're, like, so I'll give, like, um, I, I think in um, like four or five, like, characteristics of them so like maybe one um i don't know their race their well, two their goal three like a, um a con of them uh four like a weird little quirk and then five um maybe a scandal or something maybe that could be the thing um but i, I think it'd be a fun way to kind of get you guys involved into it um because, you know, that's what we try and do at all times, really. You know, but I'm getting out of this goddamn. Come on, let me out. Ooh, I'm above the helicopter. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Run away before that blows up. Uh, you really don't like this. Give it a second to catch up, I think. <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, it's like that's been my real labor of love lately, um, working on that and kind of getting it ready for hopefully for next year. But because it's been, it's ending up so big, um, and like the, the, the players are going to be able to kind of have a lot of free reign on um, on what they make. So if you are a D and D player out there, and you fancy uh, you like what you hear so far, um, drop me a comment or um, or whatever, or join our Discord and you can chat to me about it, um, and I can kind of give you the the plot line and, and kind of tell you what the the deal is. Um, I keep meaning to do like a little video or stream or whatever that's just making stuff. And to be fair, a lot of the time I'm using like um, I hate to say it. But I'm using uh, Nightcalf to generate some artwork and stuff for it um, because I am I'm crap at it and the amount of imagery I've got it's I've got like 10,000 images at this point of, um, of places of people of, of uh, monsters of, of items materials like all this stuff um, just to try and paint a picture I guess um, because like for you guys it's gonna be a very for a podcast wise it needs to be very descriptive to make sure that you guys get the, the right picture painted for you um because you know that's what the bigger thing is here so it needs to be fun for the for the player this is going to be the problem with having a crappy i don't know come on just let me get into that room because that's where the dude is just want to find out who the hell he is get out of the way more fiber okay um but yeah so i mean try yeah like i said uh, so try and paint a picture for you guys is kind of the bigger thing so like for my for the party if i can use a lot of these images to kind of give them a better idea of what's going on i'm hoping that they will kind of do the same for you guys um 
Like I said, I'm not 100% sure how, how well this is going to work because, like, first time DMing, I'm, I've only played, I'm, at the moment, I'm playing one, well, my first two games still. Um, but, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. I'm looking forward to it. It's, um, it's honestly one of the things I'm most excited about right now. Um, that's kind of, I think, might be my resolution to make sure we keep that going for the re for the year. Because it's gonna be it's gonna be a long game, like way longer than a, way longer than a year. But um, so it means that you know you guys should. I'm hoping you guys are gonna fall in love with these characters that people are creating. Just look at him. Way wa hello. If I if coming, how can I help you? I've got no. Are you serious? I did all that for fuck all. Are you fucking having a giraffe, mate? Right, well. Oh, yay. That's a letdown. Is there anyone around here I can at least test my new gun on? What was the point in that? Is it just because it's early? Maybe. Oh, hi. Aim. Ooh, there's an Imperial flag up there, too. Hey, oldie, folks. Welcome back. Um, so, it kind of works again. Kind of not. It's a bit in and out of things. It's a bit... I mean, to be fair, I've had to, I had to come out the whole game and restart my computer and see if that helped things, but it really hasn't too much. Um, I seem to have found, so the place that I found, it seems to be like a, kind of like a shopping area. Like, um, for like, like a rogue community. I don't really know. Like a rogue-ish group of, People set. I mean, is there any gun, like missile battery here? I, I want to kind of take it. Um, I'm not really sure what it does. I don't know if it could. I mean, let's face it. I'm never going to use that helicopter ever again. I'm just going to run everywhere myself. It'd probably be quicker. Um, so I want to try and fight something because um, I kind of feel like I need to. We've done a lot of building lately. I kind of feel like I need to. What's that? I mean, Brooklyn. What was that? Oh, hi. Whoa. Okay, that is powerful. There's nothing in here, though. Like, all these little green boxes and stuff, there's nothing to take from any of this. Maybe it's just because it's early, I guess, but... I don't know. I'm going to go, basically, to... um. Where am I? I'm here. I don't care about that. I'm going to go down here. I'm just going to go and attack a base, I think. I just want to get some um, some points together. Um, some uh, elemental shards and stuff together. Because that's what I need. I just, I, I mean, I think we're kind of getting towards the end of where the game is currently. Um... Because there's some stuff that's not in the game, it's not ready yet, and there's there's stuff that I I mean I can't keep doing this. Like trying to play the game like this is a bit of a ball lake. Um and even if we were gonna carry on, I need I need a ton of shards to like get better gear. Because although guns wise, clearly I can destroy everything. Um is that an elephant or a mammoth? Nope, that's just that was just a house. Okay, I don't know what I was looking at there. Um I need to get, you know, gear that's going to protect against cold. I need to get gear that protects against bullets. There's a lot of stuff I need. Um, and I need the shards in order to do it. Um, so we're going to go in here. And just try and take out the base. If I can do that, I guess. While it's glitchy as all hell. A 
That's the entry. That's the entry. I mean, odds on, I'm just gonna get killed in like. No, I wasn't aiming there. I'm gonna get killed in like two seconds. Because I can't really react to anything. Is this where the jetpack dude is? No, I didn't. I don't know. Do you remember the jetpack dude? Most of these bases do appear to be the same. I think that's an APC under there. And this is it's just annoying now. Like, it was coping just fine before. And this can't be a heavy area. I'm literally just looking for people to kill. And there's... Oh, oh, oh yeah. God damn it. The fuck? Is the recoil on this gun that bad? Yes, yes, it pretty well is. Um, yep. Well, okay, that's fuck. Okay, so. I. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. I think the game, it's. It's struggling. I might try and put it on like a, a G portal server or something and see if that helps it. Because um, it seems to be struggling a lot. And I don't know why. Like, it wasn't struggling a lot at first. And I can't imagine there's that much in the game at this point. But because, and the, Plus there's like there's points where in the game where it, do, it generally does run fine. But I might try and chuck it onto a... Um, a G portal server and, and see if that helps it rather than running it from my computer. Um, but I think that might be all I can do for now because I can't fight like this. This gun is, is really not what I was hoping it would be. Can I go in the bases or not? I mean, I can barely get into the doors. I want to have a look around, and it takes me forever just to turn around. I turned around. Um, this is really crap. There's nothing, there's not really, oh, there's a box. What's in the box? What have we got? Some ammo. Well, it's kind of useful, except for the fact that obviously the tank just swallows half the ammo anyway. And like it wasn't even there. And that's not a, you know, I know that's not me, a me computer thing. So, I don't know. Look, <clears throat> the front, it's got a lot of good things going for it. It really does. Um, Silver Fox hunting pistol, that's cool. What's that? What is that? Anti-air missile, standard anti-tank missile. Like the stuff I would like to like stick around on the front to do. There really is. I mean, there's base building stuff I would like to do, and I might try to do it and kind of maybe just give you guys a tour when it kind of comes to it. Because like the game seems to work fine sometimes, and well, when there's a lot less like uh, NPCs and stuff around. But as soon as there's anyone else around on the map, whether it's me or a dog, I think at this stage. Um, the game kind of just goes, no, I can't handle it. Don't really know if that's counting. I don't think it is. Yeah, you run away, bitch. Is there anyone else around? Not that I can see, but it doesn't mean there isn't. Um, I 
This is why I need the shards, man. I need to get armor. Because this is just not doing it either. And like, it's starting to get there. It, it is slowly getting there in terms of speed again. I don't know. There's almost points where they're moving like a normal freaking person. It's amazing. Well, nearly. Um, give me those things back. Nice, there we go. I don't know how that killed him so quickly in that one. Yeah, see, there's, like, there's points where it does, it really does speed up and get back to not, like, that's kind of normal-ish gameplay right there. I don't, I don't know. This is why I think if I popped it onto a, onto a server, where it's running, like, kind of permanently, it would, it would probably balance things out, I would hope. Maybe. I don't know. What's that? Burst arrow. Okay. Um, But I think it's something worth... I, it's something I would like to try. Oh, shit. Turn inside. Turn around. Uh, it's something I want to try. Because the game... The game is good. I killed that guy without dying. That's amazing. Um, the game is good. The game, it, it does deserve some love. It does deserve attention. Um, and I encourage people to jump on and play it. Just be prepared for it to be a bit glitchy at points. And there are some things that really do need ironing out. Like, it's a prison cell. Um, there are some things that need ironing out. Like, the, 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 the what the fuck is going on now? I'm not going to kill somebody else. I'm not. I'm too close to death. Um, blueprint cache. Ooh. Whoa. Yep. Just saw that as I was looking in the box. Um, there is some. There is some. There's a lot of good stuff here. There really is. There is some stuff that needs to be tidied up a bit. And you know, the game is in early access, so you've got to give it some kind of grace for that. And there is a warning, like if you play it on your own like if you play it on a, a server that's not a dedicated one then you kind of have to kind of bear this risk um of it you know not working quite as well as it could do um but i don't know and and that's fair i am complaining about things that i normally wouldn't complain about with um with an early access game i normally give it a lot more i guess grace than um than i am right now which is not exactly fair on the game. And it, like I said, it's a good game. It really is. Um, I haven't quite worked out how ladders work generally. Because some of them do, some of them don't. But um, I'm going to take this and I'm going to get out of here. Done. And I'm gone. Yep, we're gone. I'm going to die. I'm going to die from fall. Yep, I'm going to die from fall. Jesus Christ. Um, but it means I can start, I can probably crawl my way quite over there. Um, but yeah, so I know this has been a lot more chatting and, and kind of discussing some of the, the jankier elements of the game. But to be fair, I try and keep it pretty honest in terms of like, you know, showing you guys good bits and bad bits. Like I said, so far, the game's got a lot of good. Um, I don't know price point wise, like if it should be charging quite as much as it is. But I might try and jump onto a server again at some point. Or put it onto you know, a G Portal one and see if that helps. Um, and if it does, then fair play and the game gets back to being good and we can kind of, you know, do whatever. But like running it without it being on a G Portal server, I think it would be kind of too crazy. I think I don't think anything would really cope with it. It'd have to be a solo game at the moment. Um, but saying that, there's still a lot of stuff to be enjoyed with um, the front. Even if you are playing it on solo, there's a lot to explore. There's a lot I would still like to check out with this game. Um, but it's putting up with glitchiness or a cougar putting up with glitchiness or a cougar <laughs> um, not the fine kind either um, <laughs> anyway I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna end this episode off for the day um, potentially the series I'm not 100% sure yet I, I will see what else I can kind of do I mean I've got a kind of 
halfway through a base build up there that I would like to finish. So maybe like the next episode I do this will be more just a finish base. I didn't even really hit the Kruger. They just fuck all damage. Um... I mean, like, see round here. Uh, I, I keep speaking too soon. I keep being about to say it kind of works, and then it kind of just goes. Exactly like that. that. That's the, what it's doing. Is the the uh, the manifestation of that noise. Um. But it does. It does have some good. I, I'm really trying. I'm not trying to shit on it or anything like that. But it's just got a few bits that I'm just like need to be tidy. But it's in early access, so you know I kind of would expect it, but. Like, if the game is acting like this over this gun, it's a bit of a shame because it is a power packer, but it needs to be able to, you know, line them up and knock them down, that kind of thing. Um, I can't quite do that yet when it's like this. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. There's a lot of uh, potential with this front. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys... Uh, I'm just going to talk like the, the thing. The game is for... Uh, in the get yeah there we go no i can't keep that up. <laughs> i hope you guys have enjoyed it so far um and like i said i might be back for another one somewhere around along the lines is that a bear or is that a rock probably just a rock probably just a rock it's just or maybe not materialized in right like a bush i don't know um thank you for sticking by um i hope you kind of enjoyed the more chat aspect i guess of um of this uh, episode more kind of about the um the D, &D podcast and, and stuff like that to come up um i haven't really got to even do like the trap base the trap pit and stuff because traps are fun um <laughs> um maybe we'll do that as well for another episode i don't know depends on if this bloody well works because the thing is it are doing a trap base is that like if i spawn monsters in i don't know how well the game would actually cope with me doing what i would like to do which would be like having everything lined up and all like the guns and stuff like that and the traps going so i don't know um anyway yes thank you have a great day have a great night whatever times when you are in stay happy stay positive stay cheesy and while staying cheesy chuck some cheddar on that like button subscribe if you haven't already and continue to share the channel far and wide <laughs> um <laughs> sorry i had to i've got enough bullets that i can do that i just fine um to share the channel far and wide um, but thank you very much guys have a great night lots of love and i'll see you soon bye bye <laughs>